universities provide fertile ground for world-changing research, ideas, and future leaders. Therefore, it stands to reason that the best and most renowned schools attract the greatest thinkers and trailblazers. Welcome to Who's Number One. In this video, we are going to take a look at the top 10 universities of all time, delving into their rich histories, their unmatched influence, their remarkable discoveries, and the celebrated alumni who have walked their hallowed halls. So, let's get straight to it. Number 10, ETH Zurich. Sometimes one revolutionary student can help put a university on the map, and for ETH Zurich, that student was Albert Einstein. The university was founded in Zurich, Switzerland, in 1855, and more recently, the school has made academic headlines thanks to the work of Swiss biophysicist and chemist Kurt Wüthrich, who was jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2002. ETH Zurich is the top university in continental Europe, and is one of the best engineering and technology schools in the world. They are connected to 21 Nobel Prize winners, and the institution is also well known for its prestigious architecture faculty. Number 9, Princeton University. One of the top Ivy League schools, New Jersey's Princeton is the fourth oldest American university, being established in 1746, and is located in a municipality that gives its name since 1756. The school's main academic focus is humanities along with social and natural sciences, but it also provides various other professional degrees. High-profile contemporary former students include Nobel Prize-winning physicist Richard Feynman, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, Forbes CEO and President Steve Forbes, Google Executive Chairman Eric Schmidt, former U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama, and acclaimed filmmaker Ethan Cohn. A total of 79 Nobel laureates have been associated with Princeton University. With links to the prestigious Princeton Theological Seminary, Princeton also has a strong tradition of religious scholarship. Number 8, Imperial College London. Established in 1907 through the merger of three existing institutions, Imperial College London is a now completely independent London university acknowledged as one of the world's top institutions of higher education. It is one of the most reputed universities in England, and it is well known for its biomedical research and emphasis on engineering, science, and business. Notable alumni include discoverer of penicillin Alexander Fleming, Nobel Prize-winning chemists Derek Barton and Jeffrey Wilkinson, both of whom also worked there, and Queen guitarist and astrophysicist Brian May. Number 7, California Institute of Technology. The academic ranking of world universities has listed the California Institute of Technology as the sixth best university in the world every year since 2004. Established in Pasadena, California, in 1891, Caltech is predominantly focused on science and engineering, and has produced 76 Nobel Prize winners. Famous graduates include prominent AIDS researcher and Times 1996 Man of the Year David Ho, and astronauts Harrison Schmidt, C. Gordon Fullerton, and Frank Borman. Various Nobel Prize-winning scientists have served as faculty members at Caltech, and the institute also runs NASA's La Cañada Flintridge-based Jet Propulsion Lab. Also, Caltech has traditionally had a rivalry with fellow science and engineering-focused university the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Number 6, University of California Berkeley. Founded in 1868, the University of California Berkeley has a long history of student activism, which can be traced back to the 1964 free speech movement and the anti-Vietnam War protests of the same decade. Yet UC Berkeley's influence has been far more wide-reaching. For one, it has made a huge contribution to science. Remarkably, the school's Berkeley lab has been linked to the discovery of 16 chemical elements, which is the most by any single university. The college is also associated with an incredible 110 Nobel Prize winners. Notable graduates include Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, Intel co-founder Gordon Moore, MySpace co-founder Tom Anderson, computer mouse inventor Douglas Engelbart, who also taught at the school after finishing his PhD, and Nobel Prize winners Willis Lamb for physics, Thomas Schelling for economics, and Hamilton Smith for medicine. Number 5, University of Oxford. Established in 1096, the University of Oxford is the oldest university in the English-speaking world, and holds claim to 72 Nobel Prize winners. Some of the school's more high-profile former students are former British Prime Ministers Theresa May, David Cameron, Tony Blair, and Margaret Thatcher, former US President Bill Clinton, acclaimed physicist Stephen Hawking, inventor of the internet Tim Berners-Lee, astronomer Edwin Hubble, and writers Aldous Huxley, Theodore Dr. Seuss, Geisel, and J.R.R. Tolkien, the latter of whom also taught at the school for over three decades, among many others. 
Oxford is made up of 38 constituent colleges and has excelled in various fields, with both politics and religion being especially prominent at the university. So far, 27 British Prime Ministers, 20 Archbishops of Canterbury and 12 Saints have studied there. Other noteworthy areas of learning associated with the university include science, mathematics, literature, philosophy, and economics. Oxford also offers the Clarendon Scholarship and the Rhodes Scholarship, two of the world's preeminent graduate scholarships. Number 4. University of Cambridge Founded in 1209, the University of Cambridge is the third oldest university still operating. Over more than 800 years, the school has been associated with an incredible 121 Nobel Prize winners, with high-profile graduates embracing everyone from television naturalist David Attenborough to acclaimed primatologist Jane Goodall. Cambridge has long held a reputation for groundbreaking scientific achievement thanks to hugely influential historic alumni like Francis Bacon, Isaac Newton, Henry Cavendish, and Charles Darwin. Yet the university also has a strong literary tradition, with former students including John Milton and Lord Byron, as well as more recent names such as Salman Rushdie. The institution is home to more than 100 libraries, one of the best known being the Wren Library, which is part of Trinity College and holds A. A. Milne's manuscript of Winnie the Pooh, an Isaac Newton notebook, and early editions of Shakespeare's works. Philosopher Bertrand Russell and economist John Maynard Keynes are two highly significant 20th century figures to have both graduated from and taught at the institution. Number 3, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Since it opened in 1865, MIT has become synonymous with advancements in the fields of engineering and physical science. Yet more recently the university has also become a center for economics, management, biology, and linguistics. Though the university faced financial challenges in its early years, with the support of industrialists George Eastman and John D. Rockefeller, the institute gained stability and grew rapidly. The university has produced 38 billionaires and 100 Nobel laureates, and its prolific list of graduates includes astronaut Buzz Aldrin, former United Nations Secretary General and Nobel Peace Prize winner Kofi Annan, and award-winning and highly influential architect I.M. Pei. MIT's computer science department has had a pivotal involvement in the areas of robotics, cybernetics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer languages, and cryptography. For years now, MIT has topped many lists as the greatest university in the world, and it's not hard to see why. Number 2, Stanford University. Established in 1891 in Palo Alto, California, by Leland and Jane Stanford in memory of their only child who had died at age 15, Stanford University quickly established itself as one of the best universities in the country. But something happened in the 1940s and 50s that elevated the university to top-notch status. Engineering professor Frederick Terman called upon students and staff to become entrepreneurs, and he clearly made a lasting impression. Silicon Valley exploded in the region, and many of yesterday's and today's great entrepreneurs have been Stanford alumni. Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin, Yahoo co-founders David Philo and Jerry Young, Hewlett Packard co-founders William Hewlett and David Packard, Instagram co-founders Mike Krieger and Kevin Systrom, and Netflix co-founder and CEO Reed Hastings, not to mention Nike co-founder and chairman Phil Knight. Other prominent graduates include the USA's first woman in space, Sally Ride, and the first female space shuttle commander, Eileen Collins. Stanford University has produced 74 billionaires and 17 astronauts, and is associated with 90 Nobel Prize winners. Number 1, Harvard University. Harvard is the greatest university of all time, as well as the most famous and renowned in the world, and for good reason, as it is home to 154 Nobel Prize winners, the most by any university in the world, and has produced a staggering 188 billionaires, which is two and a half times more than the second university on the list. Harvard has a very rich history, being established in 1636 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and it has been the number one college in the world since 2003 according to the academic ranking of world universities. It's been home to many high-profile alumni, which include former U.S. Presidents Franklin D. Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, and Barack Obama, former United Nations Secretary General Ben Ki-moon, and former Goldman Sachs CEO and Chairman Lloyd Blankfein and the two most prominent people to have attended but then left the school are Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg. Harvard's law and business schools are world-renowned, and more generally the institution is associated with the Saltwater School of Mainstream Economic Thought. So with that we conclude our list of the top 10 universities of all time. These universities have been on top for centuries, and are currently the best in the world. 
Given that reputation plays a big part when choosing which university to go to, the most gifted students in the world will continue to attend these colleges, further cementing their places as the greatest educational institutions of all time. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and comment what your favorite university is, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. This is Who's Number 1, see you next time.